Hello everyone. In this video, I will solve problem 9 from the final exam review. So we have a milli circuit, sequential circuit here, and then we have some specifications for this circuit. So as you can see, we have one input X and two outputs Z1 and Z2. So the difference between this one and the ones that we um, were doing until now was that before we only had one digit for this output, either 0 or 1, which was Z. Now what I have is, the only difference is that I have Z1, Z2. So basically my output will have two digits, okay? And then it says that the circuit produces an output of Z1 equal to 1 whenever the sequence 0, 1, 1 is completed. So whenever I receive 0, 1, 1, I know that my output will be equal to 1, 0 because it says that Z1 would be equal to 1. And an output of Z2 equal to 1 will be produced whenever the sequence 0, 1, 1, 1 is received. So whenever we get this sequence, then we're going to have the output of 0, 1. Okay? So now, based on this information that we have, we, have, we want to go ahead and draw the state table and state graph. Okay? So first of all, whenever you get these four digits here, it means that the circuit will be reset. Okay? So make sure that you understand that. So here I'm going to have my table. So what I would have in my table is the present state. I will have the next state for x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. And I would have z1, z2. So this is a milli machine. And we know that the output depends on um, the input as well. All right, so now we'll go ahead and um, fill in this table. Okay, so see, what are we looking for? So what um, inputs are we looking for? What input sequences are we looking for? We are looking for this sequence. 0, 1, 1, 1, right? If I get this sequence, my output is 1, 0. If I get this sequence, my output will be 0, 1, okay? So when in the question I define for you, for example, if we get this input, then we're going to get z equal to 1. So whenever I'm talking about the output going to 1, it means that I need to get that input sequence, okay? So now I need to somehow make this 0, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 1, 1 as my input sequences, all right? So let's start from state S0. So S0 is basically my reset state, my first state, my beginning, okay? If I receive a 0, it means that I am um, advancing to what I'm looking for because if I have 0, 1, 1 or 0, 1, 1, 1, I do have the output that I want, right? So I will go to the next state. If I have x equal to 0, I will go to S1, okay? Now, so basically I have state S1 here, okay? And if I get a 1, it means that I'm not proceeding to the next state in order to get my required input sequence, right? Because if I have 1, then whatever I get after that, it is not the input sequence that I like to see, right? My input sequence that I like to see starts with a 0, okay? So I'm going to stay at state S0 here. And the outputs are clearly 0, 0, and 0, 0, because we have not yet um, received the input sequence of 0, 1, 1, or 0, 1, 1, 1. All right? Now, when I'm at state S1, it means that I already received 1, 0, right? So what is the next one that I like to see? What is the next digit that I want to see? We know that the next digit that we want to see is 1. So if I get a 1 as my input, it means that I have proceeded to next state, okay? So it means that I am over here, right? So I can say that S2 is when I get a 1 after when I'm at S1, okay? What if I get a 0? So when I'm at 0, I'm at S1, it means that I already received 1, 0, right? If I get a 1, I will proceed to the next state. But what if I get a 0? Then I'm going to have 0, 0 right? So I still have to wait for another one to happen. So I can say that here. I'm going to stay at state S1. All right? Okay. So 
Now, let's go to um, oh the outputs. The outputs would be zero, um, zero, 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 right? Now, let's see what I will get if I so I'm at S states S two, right? And states S two means that I have a zero one already being received, right? So I have a zero one. Now, what is my expected input? So I'm expecting to get another one so I can um, generate zero one one, right? So if I get a, another one, it means that I have proceeded to the next state and I have my output zero one one being generated, right? So here I can say that I have output of one zero. But what if I get a zero? So consider we are at zero one and I get another zero. So you see that if I get another zero, it means that these two were just useless and I have to look from here on. So I can say that I'll go back to state S1 to see if I can get a one and then proceed to um, my desired input, all right? Now that I'm at state S3, it means that I have 0, 1, 1, right? So when I'm at 0, 1, 1, if I receive a 0, what does this mean? It means that, again, these three here were all useless. Why? Because this is not giving me what I was looking for, what input I was looking for. So I have to, again, start from 0 and see what I would get here. Right? So I can say that, okay, I'll go back to status one and wait for another input to be received. And then I'll see if I get my desired input or not. But if I get a one, so I already have zero, one, one. And if I get a one, this is my desired input of zero, one, one, one. And I said that here, the, state, uh, the um, machine will reset back to S0. Oh, and I forgot to write this seriously. All right. So when x was equal to 0, we didn't have any um, luck, and we were not successful to get what the output that we were looking for. But here we have 0, 1. Why? Because this is 0, 1, 1. This is when I get 0, 1, 1, 1, which means that, so this is when I get this input sequence right and the circuit will reset to s0 all right so now let's draw the state graph so now that i have the um, state table it's easy to draw the state graph right so if i'm at s0 if I receive a zero, it says that I will go to state S1. So it was a zero with the output of zero, zero. Don't forget that if you have outputs, two digit outputs, don't forget that to mention both digits here on the arrows, okay? And then if I get a one, I will stay at S0. When I'm at S1 and I'm getting a zero, I'm gonna stay at S1. With the output of zero zero and if I get a one I'm going to state as two but my output is still zero zero right now I'm at state s2 and I'm getting a zero so we said that if I get a zero I'll go back to my s1 so it is zero 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 but if I get a one I'm going to a new state s3 with the output of one zero and when I'm at S3 and if I get a zero I'm going to go to S1 and if I get a one I'll go back all the way to my initial state so this was with a one and zero one as my output okay so the difference between um, this question and the ones that you have seen um, already was that your output was a two digits output and we tried to make the input sequence that was desired and um, was expected. All right, so I hope you understand these questions. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.